Hi everyone, this is Dee with Dee's Divine Tarot 411. Today we're going to go ahead with your Celtic cross reading for the sign of Pisces. I got your shirt on, Pisces. I got the Holy Smoke shirt on. <laughs> the yin yang, which is the two fish of Pisces, and that's your sign. So we're going to go right into your reading. Spirit, please bless these cards so that your will be done in this reading for all Pisces. All Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For clarity, insight, and guidance for the next two to three weeks. I hope you're all enjoying your new year, 2024. So Spirit, please bless these cards. I think I'm going to go again and get another flush just to get it. That felt good. So we're going to do the cutting of the cards and go from here. Thank you, Spirit. Please bless the cutting and the cards and the deal. All right, Pisces. Bottom of the deck, y'all. We got three of swords. So you could be still dealing with pain of the past or you're letting this go. We'll get more clarity as we go. But for this to be the first card at the bottom of the deck, you could still be dealing with this. And this is all about time to take the swords out and time to, you know, re renew your perspective on what can be for you. Um, you want to take these swords out one by one and start, you know, giving that love back to you, whatever disappointment, whatever betrayal, whatever hurt of the past, let it go and start new and fresh for yourself, okay? And look what we got, bottom of the deck, a new offer of love. So you could be offering someone a new cup of love, or this could be coming in towards you. But all in all, this is romance. This is possible new someone to date, or you could be going to a new stage in your love with someone if you're already with someone. But this is beautiful for meeting someone or going to the next stage in romance and love. Next card we got is the High Priestess. So I know some Pisces who are, some of you Pisces are very spiritually connected and protected and just tapped in, turned on into the divine. And you could be, if you pull in this card, this is you all the time, usually. Or you could be around someone who has this kind of energy and they're very like divine and spiritual and they think that way and feel that way. They know their spiritual connection. And so this is the highest spiritual card you can get next to the Hierophant. And so <laughs> if this is you, you're very blessed abundantly. Wow, Ten of Pentacles. So this could be <laughs> what this cup of love being offered to you is, where you find the one that makes you feel like everything feels right, everything is it should be. This is like spirit raining on you with all kinds of blessings. That's love. That's romance. That's feeling like you're with the one you're supposed to be with. Family life is great. Friends, everything is just right. So I like to get this card. When I get it, I like to call it some of the best times ever in life. So you could be heading towards that for yourself, Pisces. That's blessed and abundant. Okay. Next card, Pisces. Four of Cups. So not only are you coming in with the Knight of Cups, you're also getting the Four of Cups. So this Four of Cups could be that offer of love and, you know, getting together with someone. But you can't see this coming. Whatever this gift is, you're not expecting it. It could be after a time of being closed off, not really wanting to give up your time and energy. But Cups are love. So and it's emotion. So you might have been closed off in some areas well it's time to give receive and open up because spirit has a blessed abundant love opportunity or some kind of spiritual emotional gift coming right for you next card seven of pentacles so you could be in a situation or were in a situation where you were hurt and you felt betrayed or you just felt like things didn't work out like they should have. You weren't feeling your worth, even though there was a lot of chance for something to go well. It didn't work out. And, you know, you have a lot of worth yourself. But whoever you were with in the past relationship didn't see that worth in you. Maybe they were controlling. Maybe they were trying to get you to be what they wanted you to be. But 
Maybe you're more of a free spirit, more of a, you know, doer, and you can't be boxed in. And so all in all, this is all about building up to the 10, which is what you got here. And so you're about to fill your work in this new situation. And that could be with this night that's bringing this love to you or you're giving this cup of love to someone and use your spiritual intuition in this situation and it'll lead you here. You know, we have to make the right decisions for ourselves sometimes in offering love or getting love, receiving love. So that could be what it is, but she's very spiritually connected. So she should know, or you should know if you're a man, you should know for yourself the right one for you because it is coming in. <laughs> it's showing it right here. All right, next card, Eight of Cups. So, yeah, something's missing in your life and you're going after it, but you also got the Four of Cups, which is a gift from Spirit. So whatever you're missing in your life, you're going after it. You're done waiting. <laughs> and a lot of times we wait, wait, and wait and try to wait for the right time, but we know when it's time to go. And that could be what it is for you right now, Pisces. It's time to go and get what's missing in your life. All right, next card. Okay, so we got the Page of Cups, another offer of love. So if you're not around like your kids or your nephews or nieces and hanging out with young ones, this could be, you know, a immature offer of love. You could reach out to someone or they could reach out to you, but it's not fully like what this is, a romance. Maybe you just kind of putting your foot in the water and not fully committing just yet. But all in all, you know, it's an innocent offer of love. Could be flirting, that sort of thing. But this one, he's all about, uh, I want to spend some time with you. So either this is you or this is someone coming towards you with that cup. And that's why you want to have your discernment on and ready, your your spiritual spidey sense on and popping because she can see and she knows how, without knowing how she knows. And she can see right through things, situations, and people. Five of Swords, yeah, this could be what the pain of the past is. You could have been dealing with someone nasty and devious or someone, you know, willing to try to win at all costs. Or this could be you, you know, not having any more and just standing up for yourself and cutting this out of your life, you know, and just letting it be known you're tried and true and you won't take any shorts. But all in all, this could be the past person you were dealing with who made you feel this way, could still be in your life in some form or fashion. Or maybe you just decided to stand on the truth and cut this out. And it shows how hard you work to get to where you are. It shows the seven of a wand. So you have a lot of responsibilities. You're taking care of things, but you know, you're getting the job done. And this is like a victory card. All those other ones that below you have no chance. So <laughs> you're very powerful in the situation you're in right now. Bottom of the deck, we also have the five of wands. So it could have been some chaos. It could have been some drama or it could have been like competition in the past. So that could be too, but all in all, this could also be you working together with a group for a common goal. All right, next card we got two of cups. Look at that. You got the two, the four, where's the gift coming in. You also got the eight of cups where you're leaving to go towards. I think it's this, and you got the knight of cups. So this is perfect for love and meeting eye to eye with someone who you feel you know, is your match and they feel that you are their match and looking eye to eye with this one and giving that love to each other. You just can't beat this kind of love. It's like a perfect match, serendipity kind of love. And a lot of times I feel like this is a twin flame because of that fire sign uh, with the wings. <laughs> I think that's a, a Leo card. I mean, uh, with the lion on there. So you could be meeting a twin flame or a soulmate in love. And that's so beautiful. Could lead you to the best life ever. Oh, wow. We got the king of love. So the king of love and the high priestess, this would be an awesome relationship. This one would love her from her head to her toes. And she's very spiritually connected. So this would be a beautiful, beautiful relationship. 
They would talk about all kinds of things, I'm sure, about spiritual things. And, you know, he's a very emotional kind of guy. So he probably having you cracking up and that sort of thing, telling you jokes and all of that. Next card. It's the world card. Holy smokes. Oh, the card thing is doing something weird. Okay, so uh, we got the world card. So it's the end of a cycle to start a new cycle. It's your time to shine kind of energy where spirit is there for you to show you. You see how that reefs around this angel. It's just about them showing you how beautiful you are, how loved you are by spirit, and it's your time. So after a time of struggle and being in your feelings and in your thoughts and feeling betrayed by life, now you got the whole wide world and that spirit's world wrapping you up. And that could have to do with this cup of love coming in. Next card. Yep, this is you standing on the truth. And that could be against, you know, the shyster. Maybe you didn't see the shyster at first, but you see him now for who he is. And you had to stand up for yourself and cut this shyster out of your life. That probably led you to the three of swords to where you were you know, remembering the good times and how they turn to bad and you have to cut this out of your life and go towards what you deserve and what do you deserve better than this? <laughs> and this is harvest time. Even after not seeing your worth, you get to go to the 10 of, of pentacles and see your worth. You also got the nine straight to the 10 and at the bottom of the deck now. Holy smokes. I can't wait to show you the last bottom of the deck card two a sword so th this is like two choices two paths two people two situations to choose from so you want to choose wisely in what your choice is and this is why you want to use this high priestess for making your choice so just be clear in what you're choosing and with that high priestess you should choose correctly last card the page so page of wands very magical you could be meeting someone like this this one is very fiery very passionate you can't miss them <laughs> they're head turners this could be you feeling new and fresh in the situation and putting yourself back out there for love for dating because this cup of love is coming right to you <laughs> so it could be going to that page and look what we got bottom of the deck perfect match the here font with the high priestess. So you could be meeting someone just as spiritual as you. This could lead to marriage. This could, you know, be best friends because they're each other's counterparts and they belong together. And then you don't forget, you got the two of cups and you got the world card. <laughs> so this is a meant to be kind of relationship. You're ending the cycle to start a new one. You also got the king of love. So he will love his queen or his counterpart up and down completely and whole and it's a beautiful offer of love coming in for you and so you're going from the nine to the ten of pentacles which is like i said the best times in life ever and that's how you will feel in this so all in all beautiful love relationship and abundance reading for you pisces i hope you really enjoy this because it looks like a real real great time is coming in for you I'm so happy for you. The whole world is yours. <laughs> Blessings, blissfulness, peace and love. Bye, y'all.